Good afternoon, class. My name is Miss Demeanor, and I am a naughty teacher. I've got a faulty hair clip, and this v-neck is not compliant with the dress code. Oops. Today's lesson is on the mating habits of chimpanzees, but before we start monkeying around, is there a, any way you could just put this condom on real quick? Because the health department might pop in and check on our film permit, and I don't want to get fined thousands of dollars. So, <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> on November 6, 2012, voters passed the Los Angeles County Safer Sex in the Adult Film Industry Act which is also known as Measure B. This law states that all adult film production companies must file for a public health permit prior to filming, and that all male performers must wear a condom during intercourse. Despite the fact that this may have seemed like a well-intentioned measure, I believe that we made a mistake by enacting Measure B. My husband is a publicist for performers and studios in the adult film industry. Yep, everybody's favorite job in the world. Guys, regardless of how you feel about pornography, these performers are members of our community whose voices deserve to be heard, and their voices ring out loud and clear against the repercussions of Measure B. Measure B was passed by ill-informed voters, and it is negatively affecting performers and putting them in jeopardy. And as such, we should actively campaign to repeal this law. Today, we will discuss what voters assumed to be valuable and true about Measure B versus its reality. This includes the necessity of condom usage, need for regulation in the adult industry, and how the adult industry affects our economy. First up is assumption number one. Ooh, pardon me. Condoms make sex safer. Well, kind of. See, prophylactics do in fact inhibit the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases and prevent pregnancy when they are used correctly under normal circumstances. But we're not talking about normal circumstances, guys. We're talking about porn. Everyday sex consists of vaginal intercourse with a six inch penis and a duration of eight to 10 minutes. The average adult film scene consists of vaginal, oral, and anal sex with an eight inch penis and a duration of anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours of, shall we say, athletic penetration. Under normal circumstances, these are not. Condoms will not cut it. At this point, not only are they prone to breaking, they are also making, um, they're not only prone to breaking, but they also cause friction burns, as well as swelling and tearing in the vaginal and anal lining, making these performers even more susceptible to contracting diseases, not to mention the discomfort that they have to endure. So while, while mandating condom usage may seem like a great idea in theory, it's actually an impractical and injurious practice for these performers. So this is going to bring us to our second point, assumption number two. The adult industry needs some kind of regulation. Since talking about the ins and outs of the porn industry isn't necessarily a daily conversation for most people, many voters may have assumed that the adult industry is in need of some form of policing. So something that's going to regulate their film sets and prevent the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. But on the contrary, just because the adult industry prefers to ride bareback doesn't mean that they're not aware of the risks. Testing is in fact mandatory according to the Free Speech Coalition's PASS system. Scholar Jason Schockner noted in his 2014 article for the Case Western Journal of Law and Medicine that performers are required to be retested every 28 days for HIV, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis. He also noted that the past system has created a database through which performers, producers, and agents can affirm a performer's availability to film. 
It is actually the consequences of Measure B and its violation that have caused many of these adult studios to shun their previous compliances, like filing for film permits. Uh, journalist Susan Abrams of the Los Angeles Daily News quoted some statistics from Film LA, a permit coordinating, or coordinating organization, in a 2014 article where she said, before Measure B, adult film production companies would file for up to 500 film permits per year in the Los Angeles area. In 2013, they filed for just 24. And according to Chanel Preston, an adult film performer and the president of the Adult Performer Adv Advocacy Committee, Many of these off-the-grid studios are also going underground, meaning that they don't allow any um, media or social media on their sets so they can fly under the radar of the health department. In a personal interview with Chanel on November 11th, 2014, she told me, we don't have the freedom to express our concerns because if we do, we put the entire industry at risk. Basically, we can't complain about anything if the set is underground. Saving the adult industry from itself may have seemed like a valiant idea, but industry-wide regulations were already in place. And this brings us to our third and final assumption. Measure B only affects porn stars. When you're looking at a ballot that includes a measure on the adult film industry, it's pretty hard to think how it might be applicable to your personal life. But the reach of pornography is actually much more widespread than you would think. According to an endorsement from the Los Angeles Times in October of 2012, porn in the Los Angeles area is estimated to be a one to two billion dollar industry, employing thousands of sound, lighting, stage, technical, crew members, and other post-production workers. So if the adult industry up and leaves Los Angeles to evade Measure B, then it also leaves a two billion dollar deficit in our economy as well as thousands unemployed. <sighs> and, where would the, and where would the adult industry go? Well, Sin City itself, Las Vegas. That's right. Uh, in a 2014 article, journalist Andrea Dominic for the Las Vegas Sun noted that Nevada requires permits only for specific locations and conditions. In fact, Shooting in a uh, private residence requires absolutely no permit or notification, and the state has no regulations about condom usage. So if protecting performers means forcing them into an unregulated territory, then we're doing a fantastic job. By posing as a martyr for the safety of adult performers, Measure B actually lured voters into enacting law that's doing more harm than good. Enforcing condom laws is superfluous because the, the mandatory testing that's already in, in uh, the mandatory testing that's already been in, in uh, regulated is fine for regulating the spread of disease in the adult community. And the fact, uh, the fact that Measure B's passage has caused several of these adult studios to actually stop being compliant and the fact that it could cause economic issues with Los Angeles is something that we really haven't evaluated. So on that note, our collective conscience told us to save the porn stars, but we were duped, and we certainly made a mistake. So contact your local board of directors. Make a donation to the Free Speech Coalition. Start a petition. Let's get a measure on the ballot in 2016 that will repeal Measure B and then we really can save the porn stars.